guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is rose and i am a final year medical student in nigeria on this channel i share my journey through medical school through vlogs and many many fun conversations thank you for coming back don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you haven't and for my returning subscribers i hope you've missed me as much as i have missed you thank you guys for sticking around please share my videos don't forget to like and leave a comment for me to see so in today's video i have a very special guest here okay, do you want to introduce yourself oh yes to uh, my subscribers <laughs> okay so hello guys my name is hikma and i'm here <laughs> yes she's here also guys let me just tell you that hikma is the most talented artist Ooh. <laughs> She has her Instagram page and like she makes amazing, amazing, beautiful pieces. So just check it out, guys. I'm going to put the link below. Make sure you check it out, okay? So today we are going to be talking about locks. I know, I know. You guys have been asking me. You guys have actually been asking me. This is not. This, this is not one of the things I do when I say that you guys have been asking me when no one has been asking me. Yes. People have been asking me to talk about my locks and I get lots of questions and I said, you know what, why not get my fellow locks yeah. to do this video with yep. me. So we are going to be talking about our lock journey and just answering some of the questions that you guys sent. We have the questions here and we are going uh -huh. to read them out and answer it for mm -hmm. you guys. So now we are, let's get right into it. Okay. So the first thing, why did you get your locks? Why did you get your hair locks? Uh, well... It's always been something I really like. Yeah. Like, I admire it when I see it on people. Yeah. And I don't know. I really like it. It's, I think it's beautiful. Yeah. And I want. I wanted that on me. Mm -hmm. So why not? Yeah. Same thing for me. There was it like one huge reason. I just <laughs> liked how it looked. It was something that when I saw on people, I was like, hmm, this could be nice. nice. This looks nice. Plus, I didn't really used to do a lot with my hair. I had natural hair, and I would just like do um have it in cornrows and wear my wig and i was like you know what this is something that i can just leave be if i have done so i decided to get my locks so how's the journey been for you so far oh well it's it's been a nice one i think my first attempt at locks was about six years ago okay. I, I think i had it for about eight or nine months before i had to take it out for some reason mm -hmm. then again i decided last year that oh i think i'm ready to do this right now so I did a little bit of research, not as much as I should have done, but I did a little bit of research and I realized, oh, this is the kind of looks I want and this is how I want it to be. Yeah. So I decided to go for it. But regrets, no, I won't say I had any regrets. Like every day with the growth, with with the maturation, yeah. I'm loving it more and more, especially yeah. for the growth. <laughs> well, for me, um, my journey so far, it's been fun i guess i like I, I get a lot of times i get this oh my gosh i love your hair i want to get my hair locked i think that i've been enjoying it like i like to see my hair grow measuring the inches and actually seeing the growth love it so far no regrets at all Yay. at all <laughs> okay so the next thing is what method did you use to start your locks uh interlocking actually yeah. um i didn't start it by myself and yeah. I had it done somewhere back home mm. and the method was interlocking. Yeah, same for me to interlocking. I think I, I chose interlocking because I, I didn't want my twists to unravel. You know, usually when you wash your hair, if you do twist, it might unravel. But then there are different methods of starting your lock journey. There's interlocking, which we did. And then there's um, two strand twists, there's comb coils. There's a lot of methods, so depending on your hair texture, and yeah, also because of my hair texture, even before I lost my hair, when I had braids on, sometimes it would just like Long unravel twist. and all of that. So I, I wanted to do interlocking so that like the twist would be firm. So how many locks do you have? <laughs> yeah, either 273 or 327. Like, sha, two, three, and seven. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's closer. It's... it's uh, I'd say an average of 300. Yeah, <laughs> yeah actually, so, so she has sister locks. Sister locks is like the tiny version. Oh, micro locks. Oh, like micro locks. Oh, so are micro locks smaller than sister locks? No, they are like the intermediary between locks and sister, sister locks. Okay. I do not have enough liver to sit down for sister locks. Yeah. Does that take like days? Day. I was like, no way. After she did the first, after she cut the first one and did, I'm like, 
I'm not going to spend <laughs> days here. That you should increase the cuts to <laughs> micro lock. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. for me, this I think this is like small size, small size. lock, and I have one seventy three or one seventy six or one seventy nine. <laughs> I for, I forgot <laughs> to but it's one seventy something. Okay. Yeah. So her locks are way way tinier than mine, of course. So yeah, more. It is. Can it be undone? Oh yes, it can be. Like I just said, I had locks like seven years ago, and I undid it. I think. If you decide that oh you're tired of it or for mm-hmm. some reason or another you yeah. have to take it off, yeah. all you need to do is get a lot of time in your hands yeah. first <laughs> because yeah. you're going to spend like two days in a row. Then a lot of moisturizer, mm-hmm. a lot of conditioner, and then you just get into it. Yeah. You lose a lot of air. Yeah, and there's been a lot of hair break loss, but you, can, you can do it without having to shave your hair. I think there's been this myth that people always say that like the only way to shave it off. Yeah, you have to nah. cut your locks. Your hair yeah. grows like yeah. no. At most, you would just decide not to retwist any longer yeah. for for your a while, hair, and then you just back out. chop it off. Yes, but you so can like, actually untwist yes. it. Locks can be undone. They can literally be combed out. They a lot of conditioner. Yes, so you put a lot of water, lots of conditioner to make it really lots soft. Of time and patience. And too. time and patience. <laughs> yes, and comb it out. Or you can cut it, which is the way that just most people do. Quick fix. Yes, you cut it, but you can definitely comb out mm-hmm. your locks. Yeah. How often do you wash your locks? Mm, every two weeks. Every two weeks. Yes, I wash it every two weeks. And yeah, for me, it varies. It's usually like three weeks ish. So three to, every three to four weeks, I wash my hair. How often do you retwist, and how long does it take? Uh, I retwist every six weeks on an average. Or yeah. It can be plus or minus one week. Maybe. Yeah. But usually it's more like minus. I think I don't think I've ever stayed more than six, six weeks. weeks. So I've done like five weeks. I yeah. think I've done four weeks once. Yeah. And I think it's easier for me because I get to twist it myself. Because I do it myself. I don't actually do it at a stretch. Yeah. All I need is, if I want to do it at a stretch, like get a good movie. Yeah. Preferably comedy. <laughs> so I can laugh while I'm at it. Yeah. I don't need too much attention. Yeah. So I think on an average, about six to eight hours, if I were to sit down and do it yeah. at a stretch. At but stretch. if I wasn't, probably just do it between Saturday and Sunday yeah. while doing a lot of yeah. other things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, for me, I don't retwist my hair myself. I haven't quite gotten the hand yet of it. And frankly, I don't think that I want to. <laughs> but yeah, um, I retwist my hair every four weeks, four to six weeks. I think the most I've gone is six, seven weeks. But usually, every four, four weeks, I retwist my hair. I usually get it done at a salon, so the locations do it for me. Or sometimes, Ikma yes. retwists my hair for me. Yes. When she begs me. Yes. <laughs> when I plead with her. And yes. I'm out of her magnanimous heart she oh. decides to help me but yeah so i usually get it done i never do it myself so it takes um three hours two to three hours to get it done usually you know i feel like if i had done sister looks i probably won't have that patience to yeah do. because to get those ones at the back those the really tiny ones yeah. that she did like they take most of my time mm-hmm. than the other ones yeah. that were asked her to increase yeah. the cost so if it was sister looks like I don't think I would have been able to twist True. myself. Will you ever cut off your locks? Why? I I get that. I get that a lot. Like, mm. when are you going to remove it? Yeah. Or when are you going to... Mm-hmm. Like, how long, how long are you keeping it like, for? Like, when are you and my, my immediate answer is, there is no time into this thing. Mm. If I ever get tired of it, okay, maybe I'll cut it off. Mm-hmm. But I don't even think, like, right now, I'm not even... I haven't even got the satisfaction I yeah. want from it yet. Yeah. Like I'm still going up the ladder. Mm-hmm. So cutting it is not an option. Same for, now. for me. Like definitely it's not in the near or nah. far future for me. Like, Who knows? Maybe one day tomorrow I'll wake up and be like, you know what, I'm done I'm with done. this. But for now, no. I'm still enjoying it. Yes. I have to see babies grow long. Do you ever get tired of the same look? This is another one that I get a lot. Uh I guess, but maybe because, okay, f- for one, I don't have to style my hair when yeah. I'm going out. Yeah. But when I'm inside and I get tired, I try different things with my mm-hmm. hair. But the times where I really get tired of it is when I have a lot of undergo. So sometimes yeah. I was like, I won't wait till six week, to the sixth week before mm-hmm. I retire it. I'll just decide to retire because then when you retire it and you can see your scalp again, it looks pretty. And you're yeah. Like, oh, it's pretty. It's like a compensation, but yeah, you do get tired of it occasionally. Yeah. Oh, for me, 
but I get tired of the same look. Not really. Before I locked my hair, I didn't. I was not very <laughs> about my hair. Yeah. I mean, my friends would always say like, you have all this hair and you're not styling right. it. So like, it, it's not just really my thing. So right now, I don't get tired of the same looks. But here's one thing I want to add. This is a, also another misconception with looks that you have to have the same look. You can style yeah. it in various ways. That's yeah. the one. And then everything you can do with your hair, you can do it. You can braid. You can fix your weaves. You can wear a wig. You Actually, can dye it. So you can do all sorts yeah, and I mean like you can braid on this looks like your attachment braids. You can do all of that. If that if that is what is holding you back, that Please you don't would... look at Rosemary's <laughs> hair and the way she just. Yes. Has two bonds and I, say that's what, if you are naturally someone who is very outgoing with your yeah. hair, you style it a lot. Mm-hmm. You can do a lot, so much. What do you, with, with I, I, I used to experiment with your hair yeah. at some point. Yeah. <laughs> She gets very so, happy when she can style my hair. For me, I I, I, I probably have like two things I do. Yes. I, I pack it up or I leave it down or I pack one mm-hmm. side up. But there's so much more that you can do. What's the average maturation process of locks? Huh. A year, a year mm-hmm. now, but okay. I think it depends on your hair growth, your hair texture. Yeah. I think it depends on a host yeah. of factors. It's but like ge- mix of genetics plus you might not get hair type that desired look mm-hmm. for at least a year. Yeah, plus the whole process of first shrinking or yeah. like when you first do it, you, you have your yeah. your length is retained, but yeah. then after like three four months it starts it starts shrink. really shrink mm-hmm. so maturation is different for people but so different. from like eight months to a year a year plus depends on your hair type yeah well how, how long have you been locked uh we're in september yeah okay 11 months 11 months i, think I have less than a month to my yeah. level that's right there so that would make me 10 months because yeah. there's like a month, month between yeah us. Remember we were both months, right? yeah we we're both planning to get our hair our hair locked and yeah. then she got hers locked before me while I was impulsively <laughs> impulsively she, she texted me I'm like I locked my hair I'm like what <laughs> we were just talking about it yeah. and so yeah I got my hair locked and it's been ten months for me like a very soon um should I get locks because I'm tired of maintaining my natural hair nope uh uh-uh. uh. Don't do it. Uh, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> because contrary to to popular opinion, yeah. it actually takes a lot when yeah. it comes to maintenance. Yeah. Because people just think that oh, you can just lock your hair and leave it. No, there are there are products that you can use. There are products you are not advised to use. It's high maintenance, but you can be low maintenance with it in the sense that you don't have to use lots of products. You no. don't have to put some leave in and nah. all of that stuff. That yeah, that's expensive. Hair do. Yeah, like <laughs> after like when I did my loss, like I still had like so much air products. Yeah, there. like I had to just like give some of them yeah. away and because. The good thing about um, locks, you can just maintain it with water and, and oils. oils, like any kind of oil, oil as long as it's lightweight. Yeah. So just spritz it and you have to go. go. There's so much that could go wrong. Build up. That could get worst. entangled. Yes. It could get matted. It could get matted. Yes. Get, like, and it will smell like you don't want your locks to be smelly. smelly. You wash when it's time. You and oil, moisture, moisture is very important, but not too much again. Yeah, so it doesn't trap things. Yeah, into yeah. It. Because you can't wash it the way you'd wash your um undone hair. Yeah. The, I think one of the challenges that I had when I first made mine was the fact that okay, for some micro locks or sister locks, yeah. you have to like wash them in parts. Yes. Ah, uh, oh, I'm tired at some point because mm-hmm. I have to first make my hair into like 10 parts oh, or wow. sometimes 8 parts and then what? I wash them separately because of the fact that I think they are tiny yeah. so they can easily get matted together yeah. when you are done you have to literally like separate Every them day. one after the other so oh. I think the beginning then washing it was always like wash day I had to condition myself my mind that okay no, the old day, wash. <laughs> wash day. but then after they became more mature and i could mm-hmm. wash as a whole it just became a lot easier yeah. yeah for me when i wash i i only part my hair into four to wash so and that's because i want to make sure i get everywhere yeah make sure that everywhere is squeaky clean so i part my hair into four but i can wash it as a whole but it's just much better and economical to part it so what products do you use for maintenance? I use rose water. Yeah. And I don't use the rose water directly. I use yeah. oh, rose water. 
Okay. Then I had some oils, light mm-hmm. oils, baby cream. Same That's with me. I, I eat rose water and, and oil. oil. Sometimes when I run out of my rose water, I just use water. water. So oils, your avocado, jojoba, vitamin E, but any essential yeah. oil. Yeah. Although some people used. advise to stay away from coconut oil because they are more dense. dense. Yes. yes, it's dense. So, so lighter oil. Actually, actually I actually so, uh, Don't use shea butter, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> Stay away butter. from sheer butter. Uh-uh. Please don't. Do not do it. It will mm-hmm. build up. It will attract lint. And dust and dirt and don't do everything. It. Just don't mm-hmm. do it. Then for the shampoo, you can't use a moisturizing shampoo. shampoo. Mm-hmm. You need to use like a clarifying shampoo. Because moisturizing shampoo would retain a lot of lot moisture, moisture. And this would attract more dirt and lint. Change your pillowcase. Yes. Open. Change and then so, you can cover your hair. Satin bonnet, like yeah, because some of the um, is it cotton and wool mm-hmm. and dust? <laughs> <laughs> I forget most of the time, so I guess my satin bonnet is quite religious. Really, actually. it's just so you don't get lint in your hair. Then mm-hmm. some people change their um their pillowcases pillow to silk. If, oh yeah. yeah, so if you don't want to cover your hair, you can have a silk pillow have silk, yeah. yeah, but just change your pillowcase so it's not dirty and make sure it's not something that is like extracting wool that can that get can into just your get hair. Yes. And when you want to sweep or do any chores, cover your hair because all of that dust is going to go there. Mm-hmm. What's your go-to style? Me? <laughs> oh well, uh, my go-to style, yeah. usually when I'm home, I think I like two buns. Okay. And it's i don't know i just find it very comfortable just mm-hmm. two bones mm-hmm. me <laughs> i don't have a good style honestly it you depends on anything. on when i wake up and how much time i have to get ready usually it's down for for the most part and then if i feel like oh you know what it was down this one it was down for the past five weeks in the back I, outside i hold on side like, you know what let's go for a different look today let's start <laughs> one side i don't have a good to look honestly mm-hmm. i am very lazy with styling so i don't do much so i think that's things but here's the thing too. there's so much you can do with your short hair ah, there, there was a video i filmed months ago that i never uploaded them 10 ways i style my locks Maybe I'll upload that. But and because then, you knew that was a lie, you don't tie it. You don't tie it. Those things. I don't appreciate your tone. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but we know it's the truth. It's the truth, guys. That's why I never made it out. <laughs> I don't do anything to my hair. What's your length goal? My length goal. Put in a sentence. I want to be able to whip my hair back and forth. <laughs> like Willow. Yeah, but I think I'll just say, um, just a little bit um, below shoulder, shoulder length. length. I think the ultimate goal for me is Ava, Ava Duvani. I love her looks, and then Chloe and Harley. I love how how they style their looks. So yeah, I think I'm going for waist length. I think I would have actually love the Ava style. Like, it's always yeah. so nice when you have like bring yeah. it forward and then like, it drops, like, drop or it. you can do something in yeah. front. But I feel like. I might not be able to contain all the but I might, I'm not very, I think I'm a bit flexible with my um, shoulder length. I feel like I'll continue to grow it to mm-hmm. that point where I feel like I can't contain mm-hmm. it anymore. So whatever that length is, then yeah. I'll stick to that. Okay. It'd actually be nice to have, yeah. Waist length is the goal for me. Yes. Can I get locks with relaxed hair? Oh, when I, when I was getting my hair locked, my loctician told me you have to have four inches Oh yeah, of, that's of natural hair. So if you have relaxed hair and you've gotten up to four inches, that's like ten centimeters of your natural hair, you can lock it. This is because your relaxed hair is not very firm, so it may not give you a good strong texture. It will just unravel. So if you have four inches of natural hair, yeah, you can get your hair up. Are locks expensive? Expensive mm. in maintenance, or expensive to get them done? Mm. Is it expensive to get them done? <laughs> expensive, expensive. Even and even if exactly if it depends on how often mm-hmm. you have to do i mean if you have, have to retwist yeah. every month for instance it's quite expensive, it's expensive. i guess i i, I can't i can't yeah. say that because so, i retwist a lot of people save money off it by retwisting yeah. themselves but in itself starting your looks is expensive, expensive. Right? have you had any bad experiences with your looks what i would say i had um that's close to a bad experience was 
my first attempt at retwisting. I, I wasn't even planning to retwist. Why? Well, I just I, I got the um, the instrument mm -hmm. or what, the pin mm -hmm. that I was re used to retwist, and I felt let me try this because I did the first one. And yeah. I'm like, ooh, like this this looks nice. And I did the second. And I'm like, ah, it's not bad. <laughs> and so I felt like ah. Uh -uh. Muti arrived. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I felt like I should continue. Then I went okay, I went while I was testing, I was mm -hmm. doing the ones in front that I could actually stand in front of a mirror and see. So when I went to the back, I kind of entangled Oof. two locks. They were edge locks, oh, so they oh. weren't very big. And I was just there trying to untangle or detangle yeah. or on twist, I didn't even know what I was doing, but I think every attempt that I was mm -hmm. making to unravel it yeah. was just it was getting more intertwined. Eventually, I, I had to call my friend. She <laughs> was glad to actually have a cut. So I she cut, cut it. Yes, oh, she cut it for me. me. Bad experiences. Well, sometimes people pass comments like you uh, said, or oh, um, when are you going to get your head done again? Oh wow, you've had your hair for really long, right? Because they're changing. trying to yeah. When are you changing it? So um, we have our things here. We're going to show you. So very important. Okay, these are oils. Um, this is what I use my hot oil treatment. It basically has all the essential oils I told you about: avocado, almond oil, jojoba, argan, castor oil, all of those. So oils and this is rose water. So I just like spritz this on my hair when I want to style it. Then very important. And this is the clarifying shampoo. These ones mm -hmm. are you need lots of, of these, <laughs> lots of pins. So get your pins in different sizes. I have them in different sizes, and then guys, clips, so especially when you're holding it back or even when you want to retwist your hair. So clips are so important. Ah, rubber bands, a lot of bands in every shape, in all forms, size. sizes. You need all rubber bands, and then okay, this is what I use. Oh, well, if my uses, <laughs> then all these types. So yeah. Either of this, yeah. Can be used. So this is for retwisting. Yeah. Then yeah. any other thing, accessories you want to add? Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. I like to put. So these. thank you for watching. If you've been watching up to this point, thank you. Thank Leave you. me a comment. If you have more questions or questions that we haven't answered, please let me know in the comment section. If there are more any question you want us to answer, or if you need more clarification comment section guys don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like please share my video when you share my video you let it allows youtube to recommend this to more people to watch so it increases the reach of my video please share this video in particular yes. i'm like going to become a star yes <laughs> this is her so, ticket to fame this is my ticket to stardom please like like share, and subscribe. subscribe thank you so thank you so much for sticking with us i'll see you guys in my next video Bye. Hasta la vista.